Welcome. One of my plumbing fixture videos, I've been taking apart plumbing fixtures. Uh, this is a PVB, pressure vacuum breaker. Um, it prevents water from going from, you can see the arrow here, the water comes in and there's usually two, two small ball valves on here. Um, this one of course has them off, that allows you to isolate and repair it. You're gonna wanna turn them off if you're doing this on an active one that's got water to it. Uh, these, of course, are a testable backflow preventer device, which some places in the States, you need to test these. They're two small uh, ports here, open and close with a screwdriver. See that slot there? This is closed. Many people turn on their system. These are half open from winterization, from service. And they're spraying out. This is open all the way. And then just flathead screwdriver all the way closed. <clears throat> so that's a common problem people have if these are leaking. They're just actually open. Um, so this plastic bonnet, a lot of times if you see this is cracked, that's a sign that the piece underneath, the brass bonnet underneath, these screws just come out. Just do it for expediency's sake, these prongs underneath will be bent. Sometimes this piece is cracked. This one is actually uh, pretty good. Um, sometimes you can just get your screwdriver in here and uh, just turn it. Sometimes if it's, especially if it's bent, you'll actually have to get a large pliers or channel lock pliers on here. Um, this piece is called the bonnet. It is sold separately all by itself. They sell that top. Uh, bonnet the plastic bonnet dust cap um, Really not essential to its functioning just stops debris from getting in there You can put a cracked one back on top and it's uh, gonna keep most of the debris out Sometimes when these leak a lot of spiders or bees insects will get in here and they'll prevent it from sealing so This has the atmospheric vent um, This piece sometimes referred to as to the poppet is actually the atmospheric vent. Um, some PVBs have springs in them, others do not. Uh, this plastic washer, I forget what this part, but I believe the plastic washer is sold separately and it doesn't come in the rebuild kit. So don't lose your plastic washer if it doesn't come in the rebuild kit. The pop it, the spring, the O-ring, and the bottom check valve uh, do come in the rebuild kit. So basically, the way this works is since the pressure is coming up from the bottom, it, it catches and pushes the poppet and forces it to seal. Um, this one you can see is flared out. After time, they get flared out and they stop. If, if they get froze, they sometimes uh, get pushed around and cracked. Uh, different brands do different, but they both function the same. Uh, in the case of a backflow incident and the pressure drops, this pop it, the check seals and this pop it will open and then water will pour back out. Sometimes it doesn't open, but it's meant for relief. Uh, atmospheric breakers only have a uh, floating pop it seal in there to work, so they're, that's why they are not a high hazard like a PVB is. So there's a spring in here. A lot of times to get this spring out, you just get a screwdriver in and the spring comes out you'll get this this check spring in the rebuild kit if you get a 720a rebuild kit and that is the bottom check that holds the bottom check against against the lower seal ring you can see the seal ring in there that'll hold everything against that sometimes if there's crud built up this is old and cracked uh, a lot of times these screws get lost and you'll find them in Irrigation valves down the line. Uh, I do irrigation, so that's why why I say that. I uh, found a lot of them. Uh, you'll have to replace this also if it fails the test, and, and you'll have to replace it. These can kind of be a pain to get in, especially if you got fat fingers like me. But that drops in. There's also an O-ring that is right here. To get the old O-ring out, you can just 
peel. I don't have a new rear bolt kit. I'm just going to put everything back where it was for you. So I'll see how this one is very flat after a while to get flat and push in the new O-ring in the rebuild kit will come with with a lubrication, a food safe. Since this is attached to drinking water, it'll be a food safe uh, kind of glycerin lubrication. I don't really know, but it, I definitely know it's food safe. Um, don't want to use other petroleum based because you know it's connected to drinking water. So, loop, loop the ring up, the O-ring, put it back in. You get the bottom check to line up, looks like that. Uh, the spring is a little tricky, but it's not bad. I do have another video on this of me rebuilding one out in the field, but it doesn't quite give you this view. Um, I just work my way around until that whole spring is in. Once that's in, I like to take my poppet, the washer, and the bonnet. Then you can just grab it by the pin. I don't lube any of the other parts. I, I sometimes lube the lower check valve um, where it seals, but it's not absolutely necessary. And the poppet I definitely don't lube because I want it to fall. Pop it needs to fall at less than a difference of one PSI. So once you get that back on, and then you can just put your cap back on, which can sometimes be a little tricky. Just put one screw in. You get the idea of getting all the screws in. <coughs> this is one I'm just going to scrap. But there you go. It's a rebuilt Wilkins pressure vacuum breaker. Um, they're a good device. You'll find a lot of times the poppets fail. Uh, some of the Apollos, uh, I want to say that they're, I forget the Apollo model number, but they're a little bit better on that relief valve. Um, but yeah, it's rebuild of a 720A. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see other interesting plumbing fixture videos.